Okay. All right. It's about that time. The New Orleans Pelicans walk into Miami. I think it was in Miami. I, I forgot already. But the Pelicans defeat the Miami Heat 111-88. You remember last time we played the Heat? Jimmy Butler. You know, you know the dude who said that the Heat were a better team. When he got ejected last game that we played the Heat, he state, he states, this is real quotes, we'll beat them next time too because we're just a better team. Looks like the Pelicans are just a better team then. <laughs> yeah, bro. That was a great win. So let's get started on the recap. CJ McCollum scored 30 points. Jose Alvarado added 17. And the Pelicans had no trouble in a 111-88 win. That puts the Heat down to 38 and 32. Pelicans are now 43 and 27 as we beat Miami last night on Friday night. Because the bank is open on Friday nights. The first meeting between these two teams that I mentioned before, four players got ejected. When the teams played in, in New Orleans last month, I thought it was a couple weeks ago, a night that Jimmy Butler said the Heat would win the rematch, Jose Alvarado stated, and I quote Jose Alvarado here, it backfired on them today, well, technically last night, but boy, oh boy, was he correct. He all suck. <laughs> this was McCollum's fifth 30-point game of the season and his second in the last week. Trey Murphy... Gimme three, scored 14 points, and Najee Marshall had 13 for New Orleans, which only got four points in 25 minutes from Zion Williamson and rolled anyway. We didn't even have Ingram in this game. Hold right, on, let me get this off the screen. We didn't even have Ingram. We didn't. And we still whooped on the Heat. Ah. Butler scored 17 points for the Heat, who fell four games behind Orlando in the Southeast Division race and missed a potential opportunity to climb out of the, out of the play-in tournament range. Terry Rozier scored 13, and Bam Adebayo finished with 12 points and 10 rebounds for Miami, which was 13 for 47 from three-point range. Yeah, the Heat, they did not shoot to save their lives last night. Dude, they were open threes. You had Jaime Hawkins airballing. You got Caleb Martin struggling to shoot. It was glorious. They were packing the paint and staying in the zone. Heat coach Eric Spolster said, and I would have too, Bam couldn't do nothing. Jimmy couldn't do nothing. Oh, boy. They were up like 14-2 to two to start the game. And then after that, Pelicans started in their way with them. The Pelicans were without Brandon Ingram, who will miss at least two weeks with a bone bruise in his left knee. Which sucks. He was hurt in Thursday's loss at Orlando. But the Pelicans say he will be reevaluated early next month, which would mean before the end of the regular season. We're going to miss him. 20 points per game. He's leading our team in assists. So we're definitely going to miss him, Pelicans coach Willie Green said. But we're grateful that it wasn't more than what it was. We're going to miss them. The next guys just have to step up, which they did. But I still have a question. Why is Jordan Hawkins only coming in the garbage time? Miami was again without Tyler Hero due to a foot. Duncan Robinson back. And Kevin Love because of his heel. And when the Heat can't score, they can't win. 
Clearly, you have to score to win. I'm sorry, Miami. Y'all just suck. They're now 2-15 and 15 when they score 100 points or less. 2-15, <laughs> 15 and y'all scored 88. So no wonder y'all lost. Y'all have only won, won two games when you don't score over 100. And they're compared, uh, as compared, to a 36-17 scoring at least 101. The Heat have lost 10 of their 47 home games. Y'all suck. A team that entered Friday with the ninth best road record this season at 21 and 16 is now just 17 and 16 at home. The 19th best mark in the league when the game ended. We just have not been good enough. We all know that. We're aware of it, Spolster said. It was the first meeting these teams it was the first meeting between the teams since February 23rd when the team scuffled and four players Butler and Thomas Bryan for the Heat, Alvarado and Marshall for the Pelicans were ejected from what became a 106 to 95 Miami win. Afterward, Butler said, "We'll beat them the next time too." The Pelicans evidently remembered Hey, Butler, what happened, buddy? We're just a better team. The Pelicans posted on, on social media post game. Butler opened the second half with a three point play that got Miami within one, and the Pelicans immediately responded with an 11 0 run to keep control. New Orleans was down 18 to 7 early and then settled into a groove, okay? trailing only once in the final 36 minutes. And that was a mere 22-second stint early in the second quarter. So, so what do the Pelicans have next? They visit Detroit on Sunday. A game that the Pelicans should win, even with no Ingram. We should not struggle against Detroit. And the Heat, they will host Cleveland on Sunday night. So, guys, that's going to end it. Let me know what you feel like in the comments below. Do you do you, do you like this win from the Pelicans? Let me know. And if you put up a comment, I'll, I'll put, I'll, I'll respond, I will respond to your comment in my next video. Just like this one by Jerry G. And yes, I know it's not going to be on the screen because I can't, I don't know how to really edit that on. But you, you just have to take my word for it. So yeah, the comment of the video goes to Jerry G, who on my Justin Field short video, he states, I called it. And you did, Jerry. I give you props for that. Jerry on my live a couple weeks ago said he thinks Justin Fields is going to the Steelers. And he went to the Steelers. Oh, there. He called it. But yeah, and you can put up a comment like Jerry did, and I might feature it in my next video. You can always find me here at Hurricane Mike in New Orleans Saints Master Streams, where you have daily content over here and over there. You got some things. Well, now like, subscribe, share, turn the bell so I don't miss an upload, and I'm out.